I just wondered, are you disappointed that the Commissioner hasn't been able to accept your findings of institutionalised racism, sexism, misogyny and homophobia? Well, what do I think? I think that the Met Commissioner is unfortunately sort of splitting hairs over words. I think that overall he accepts the findings of the review. He accepts, I have put to, to them, to him, it's in the, I think the way to deal with um, institutional racism, organisational racism, systemic racism, whichever word one chooses to use out of the thesaurus, I've put four tests in place that in my mind go across all of the prejudices and discrimination we have found in the review. So um, you can see in there is actually bullying and uh, prejudice overall, and then within that we have found institutional. Um, so my four tests are, and this really gives a way of um, allowing an organisation that believes it can't fix it or can't solve it, which I have to say I disagree with, but on the basis that that seems to be what the resistance has been for the last 20 to 30 years. The four tests are these. Do you have people working in your organisation who are racist? Not everybody, but some people. The answer to that question is unequivocally yes. Do you have people in your organisation that are experiencing on the receiving end of racism or indeed misogyny or indeed homophobia? The answer to that question is yes. Do you have uh, an organisation which in terms of its, its procedures, its processes, its um, functioning has systemic bias in it? The answer to that is yes. And you know, I would just remind anybody listening to this, which I'm sure I don't need to remind this committee, is that black people, so people, officers who are black, are so disproportionately more likely to be in the misconduct system to the tune of 81% more likely than their white counterparts. There can be no other reason for that than the skin colour or the, um, how can I put it, much more lenient approach to their white male colleagues. And then finally, the question is, you know, is, is the Metropolitan Police, does it, over-police and under-protect the black community in London and unreservedly the evidence is abundantly clear in this report and I suppose I feel sad today uh, in that I wish that the Commissioner and the Deputy Commissioner had given themselves more time to actually listen to and understand where black Londoners and all Londoners are coming from when it comes to the fact uh, in 30 years, uh, 30 years this April, Baroness D Doreen Lawrence has never heard the word institution, institutional racism in regard to the, the, the murder of her own son and the battle that she and her family have had to fight. So I feel it's a really missed opportunity if I'm simply sort of being advising and tactical. And I think deep into this is, is, is I just feel it's a shame. And what I hope is that over the next few weeks and months, as the Commissioner gets more into meeting Londoners uh, and listening to what they have to say, he will not only accept my diagnosis, but accept what isn't a label, but an accurate description of the organisation.